In March, they formally applied for compulsory purchase over my house and four others, along with a field adjacent to the estate. Since then, we've been fighting against that because Aberdeenshire Council are refusing to rule it out. Sarah, I want to get rid of that house. It's going to create a bit of a stir, but if we're not... Who cares? Who cares? You know what? Who cares? It's our property. We can do what we want. We're trying to build the greatest course in the world. This house is ugly. There are some houses quite far away from the course, but nevertheless, they are in view. But we are berming some of the areas so that you don't see the houses. I don't want to see the houses. And nobody has a problem with it. I guess maybe the people that live in the houses have. Windbreak, conveniently and kindly placed by my neighbours. They've described my home as being unsightly, as being a blot on the landscape. And I think this is an attempt to try and hide it, along with threatened intimidation, obviously. We can do what we like sort of thing. Before this was put in place, you can see my house quite clearly from the main Ellen Road. Now you can only see the, the tower, the actual office area. The view from the back of David's house has also changed, with the golf course construction work also taking place on sand dunes that were once declared a site of special scientific interest, or SSI. Do you miss how the land used to be? Yes, I do. And it's only really when you stop and look at it like this, you realise just how much it's changed already. I mean, it's changed considerably in the time I've been here anyway, by nature. But this sort of man-made destruction is ridiculous and just shouldn't be allowed. He's got five, maybe seven golf courses in the States, I'm not sure now. None of them are even in the top 100 in the States, let alone in the world. Just go a few miles up the coast here to Cruden Bay. It's in what recognised as being one of the top 10 in the world. How does he think he's going to compete with this? He's not. The man is a, an idiot. Donald Trump released a statement saying, We have consistently said that we have no interest in compulsory purchase and have never applied for it. It remains part of the Scottish planning process, but we have not and will not request that Aberdeenshire Council use their CPO powers to purchase houses. But David Milne showed us this letter that he obtained, sent from Trump's representatives to Aberdeenshire Council in March 2009, clearly asking them to exercise its power of compulsory purchase to acquire the eight plots of land on behalf of Trump International Golf Link Scotland with a list attached of properties including those of David Milne, Susie Munro and Michael Forbes. <laughs> now this is the guy, this is the, this is the classic story. Uh, Donald Trump, big American, comes, wants to buy up his ranch or his uh, farm, and he says, nope. How much did he offer in first place? Well, I offered him some, and he actually accepted, but then when he realized what was happening, he wanted more, and then ultimately we don't get along so well. <laughs> Is the allegation that Trump said that you have accepted a few times then backed out? Is no, that's a lot of rubbish. Yeah, you must know by now, Trump's a compulsive liar. <laughs> if he was to tell the truth, it would kill him. Huh? <laughs>